seems like we talk about plant tissue analysis almost every week, but honestly, we're using it on our farm and with a lot of farmers that we're working with across the country on multiple crops. So I'm gonna talk about two situations today. I'm gonna open it up here and then we'll have a discussion, but there's, there's kind of the, hey, my crop is doing fine. I just wanna see where my nutrients are at all through the season. Are my plants able to access them? Is there something I'm running short in? So kind of your standard plant tissue analysis, but then there's also, hey, something's wrong in my field. Maybe a nutrient could be responsible. I'm gonna do plant tissue analysis because I've got a problem. Either way, we want you to do some soil sampling in the exact spot where you're gonna pull plant tissue analysis. So if let's say you pulled samples earlier this spring or last fall, and now you're gonna go back out to those exact grid points, well, you're fine, you're covered, no big deal. If it's a one-off spot where you don't have a grid point there, you've never soil sampled in that exact spot, then absolutely go soil test there right now and pull a tissue sample there right now. And then you can hopefully get some kind of correlation there, hopefully get some kind of idea as to what's really going wrong in that plant. So Brian mentioned if you've got a problem doing a soil test and taking a plant tissue test in the same spot is a really good idea. I think it's a great idea for your tests that you're pulling all through the season. On our farm, we'll typically run 10 or 12 weeks where every week we're out pulling a sample of plant tissue to get an analysis done and see what our nutrient trends are throughout the season. I think it's a great strategy. The question we get about this time of year is, hey, I've been doing this for about 10 weeks. Now what? How long do I keep going? And it's one of those things on your farm that you've got to kind of figure those things out yourself. I would say pull it all the way through the season. As long as you've got green leaf tissue out there, see what's going on. And you're gonna figure out, you know what? Probably the last couple of weeks, I'm really not learning anything new and I really can't change anything, but here's a good stopping point for me. For me, it's gonna be quite a ways into the season. It's not just gonna be, hey, I got to tassel, now I'm done. No way, you still got a long ways to go filling that ear out on corn. And the same thing would be true with soybeans. Okay, but in terms of our farm, I would say we're gonna go maybe two, three, four weeks past tassel on corn. But with soybeans, we wanna keep that going later in the season because so much of soybean yield is set in August a lot of times in the Midwest. So I'm absolutely sampling all the way through August in soybeans. Now here's the number one reason why you wanna do this in the good areas like Darren was talking about. So you have some comparison of bad and good because you're gonna get fertilizer recommendations. Is your fertilizer dealer or who's ever making these recommendations, are they really the foremost expert in the field? Well, they might be great but I'd rather look at my own data and say, you know what, my 300 bushel corn spots, this is what they had for soil fertility, this is what they had for nutrients inside the plant all through the growing season, and now I'm gonna to try to replicate that moving forward. Nutrient content is huge for yield, so that's the number one reason why you wanna know in the good areas, what do I actually have? I think the best thing you said there, Brian, is just that you can be the expert on your farm. Even if you say, you know, I don't know that much about nutrition yet, you can learn and you can learn for not very much money by pulling plant tissue analysis. That's the thing I like the most about this. While well, pulling plant tissue samples, it's really important during the season, but so is controlling weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to stop this tough one right after this.